Next, we're going to learn how to store a new word or a new phrase in your device. Now, names are something commonly needed to be added early. And so to make it easy for you, when you see this button where it says mine, and there's an envelope there because we write names on envelopes, when you touch that location, go ahead and take your finger and touch where it says mine, where my mouse is moving right now. You'll notice when you touch that, that the entire screen is empty, all but this one location that says mine. And this is so that you can store names, making them very easy to find and clean. So I always store my own name under mine. this button where the word mine is, plus bad, because I'm Big Bad John. So now I'm going to go ahead and do that. Hit the mine one time. See the blank location where you want to program. So I can see there's a blank button right here where the word bad was. So now I go up here and I hit menu. Once I touch menu with my finger, I now go down here, the fourth one down, that says Edit Page. So now I take my finger and I touch where it says Edit Page. You'll notice that it turns red up here and all the buttons say blank. So you know that's a blank spot now. I'm going to touch the one in the where bad was in the far right hand corner. So right now where my mouse is moving, I take my finger and I touch it. And then it pops up. It says Create a New Button or Copy Existing Button. You want to create a new button. So you touch there. Now start at the very top where it says button label. So you touch right there where it says button label and a keyboard pops up. And now you can type, Now I always do a, a shift J, so you get a capital J there, and type the name John. You see it adds the button message for you. This button here where it says pronounce message, that just let pronounce message, that just lets you hear it. John. So you know if it's gonna sound right. But we'll learn how to fix that another way. Now, go ahead and let's go ahead and minimize our screen down here. So touch right here. Now, it picked a picture for me because it looks up the word John. And I wish I was Don Johnson, but I'm not. So I'm going to touch select image right here. Now, I never worry about these two things. I just do the magnifying glass. So right here, go to magnifying glass. And then t touch right here where John is. Once you touch where John is, your screen will pop up, and now you can delete right here out the word that's there. It's not getting rid of the word. That's just looking for what symbol it wants to use. Now I'm going to type the word man, and then after I type the word man, I'm going to do search right here. So right there, I touch search, and I, I like the second guy. He's a very gray-haired, attractive-looking middle-aged man. So now after I'm done, I look here, here's my button label, here's my button message, I've checked the pronunciation, I've selected an image, now I'm just going to touch save right here. I see it went there, I'm going to do done now. So from now on, when I touch this, over in the corners, John pops up. John. Well, let's do one more just for fun. Let's say the third one over, I want to store Cindy because she gets up and drives me crazy sometimes. So here she is, I'm going to put her two past mine. So I touch the mine one time, I look three over and I see where I'm going to store Cindy. I now hit menu right here, I touch it. I come down here and I hit the one that says edit page. I then go back to that button that, where, where I want to put it, where it says blank, and I touch it. And that pulls up a spot that says create a new button. I now go to the very first thing, button label. I touch my shift button, giving me a capital on the next letter. It automatically goes back, just like a keyboard. It's nice, I don't have to worry about a space. If I want to listen to it, I can hit pronounce Cindy. message. I now do have to minimize my keyboard so I can get down here. Because there was no image of Cindy, it doesn't try to guess one. So now I'm going to do select image. Go right to my magnifying glass here in the top corner. Take out Cindy. I touch there and t take out Cindy by using the delete right here. And then type in W O M. You don't have to type the whole word either. If you type part of it, you get sometimes you get more choices. So this one kind of reminds me of Cindy. So then I hit save and I hit done. All right, and I can get my go back. I can see it again that this plus she gets up there. Cindy. It drives me crazy. There's Cindy. Cindy. And John's way over here. John. All right, I hope that helps you 
Now, it's no difference if you're storing a phrase. So like under the my button, there's, sometimes there's one here that says my name is John or something, or my home is in Little Rock. You do the exact same thing, just where you stored, store a whole phrase instead of a, instead of a word. I hope that helps.